Well, more than half a million Americans have died from the coronavirus, including about 100,000 since President Biden took office last month. As the nation marks that staggering loss, vaccine manufacturers are telling lawmakers they're ramping up supply to protect more Americans from the virus. CBS's Delbert Alferon is in Washington with more. President Biden ordered U.S. flags to fly at half staff this week for the 500,000 Americans who have died from the coronavirus. Amazing Grace played outside the White House Monday evening as 500 candles represented the grim milestone. As we acknowledge the scale of this mass death in America, we remember each person and the life they lived. You know, there's people behind the numbers. I mean, our mom's behind that number, and it's really sad. Wendy Jensen's mother, Carol, died last March when the number of dead from COVID-19 was less than 2,000. I love you. That's the last thing you said. Rebecca Riley's husband, Michael, died just before Christmas. It's indescribable. The pain feels like you're literally being punched in the stomach. President Biden this promised better smile. days ahead. This nation will know sunny days again. This nation will know joy again. The House plans to vote this week on the Biden administration's massive COVID relief package, but it faces a tougher challenge in the Senate because Republicans say it's too expensive. And more vaccine relief is on the horizon. Manufacturers are testifying virtually before a House committee today pledging to ramp up supply. We are on track to make 120 million doses available for shipment by the end of March and an additional 80 million doses by the end of May. So far, more than 44 million Americans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. The president's COVID relief package includes $20 billion towards the vaccination effort.